we are going to discuss another very important part of data cleaning in this particular lecture and this is about extracting a substring from a string of data so let me remove the jargons and let me simplify it for you any combination of text or numerics or special characters a combination of all of that is called a data string and extracting any part of that string for example the left part or the middle part or the right part that is called a substring so for example you can see i have a lot of different you know uh, records available here in this column a so all of these will be called specific strings so i can say that i have a data string in row number two in cell a2 and then we have a different data string in cell a3 and a4 and so on so what we need to do is that if we have to extract a specific part of that maybe left or right or the central part that will be called substring and why we need to extract that there are different reasons usually you know when we extract data from different softwares or from websites different fields are all compiled together and we have to separate them ourselves so in this case for example you can see this is basically uh, this cell is basically containing the combination of three fields from the data so if i can show you the original data this is the original data and you know we have the order number and the product key and other details and if you look at here in this sheet different cells have been combined together and i'm supposed to extract the different uh, parts from this string so we have different techniques uh, if the data is simple we can use the simple ones as well but if you know the string is complex and we have to extract dynamic number of characters from that we have to use some advanced techniques and we are going to learn all of them in this video starting with the most simple one so start let us start with the left function so what let left function is, will do is that it will allow you to extract any number a speci specific number of characters from the left so all we need to do is to start writing the left function and then you know select the cell which contains the data string and now specify the number of characters that you want to extract so for example say i want to extract the five uh, letters from the left so i will mention five I'll simply close the bracket and press enter and you can see that Excel has given me the five characters from the left and all I need to do is to double click here and then you can see that the same pattern has been copied to all the cells below and if I can just scroll down for you you can see that there were 56,047 records and with just two steps we have extracted the left five characters from all of them now similarly we can move to the middle and right part so let's do the right part first so let us say we have to extract the three characters from the right separately so all we need to do is to use the right function and i'll simply start typing right and then press tab key and now let us select the cell which contains the data string and finally let us mention the number of characters that we want to extract from the right in this case that is going to be three close the bracket press enter and you can see we have uh, success successfully uh, uh, you know extracted the three characters from the right and then the next step all we have to do is to you know double click here and then you can see we have extracted the three characters in all the cells below from the right okay now let's do the third part of this uh, simple extraction and that is the middle part and for the middle part you know we have to tell excel that which middle part we want to extract so for example from which character excel should start extracting and how many characters then it should extract so let us start typing the mid function and now select the cell which contain the text string and now let us see what excel is asking you here it is asking you the start number so basically excel is asking you that from which character it should start so i want to mention that please start from character number six and then now it is asking you that how many characters uh, do you want to extract so i want to extract seven characters i will mention seven and i close the bracket and then press enter so we have you know the middle part that starts from character number seven and then it contains the next seven characters and secondly you know all we need to do is to you know double click and now you can see that in three simple steps we have extracted the left middle and right part of the data from our text string 
Now you must be thinking that the data may not always be so straightforward in all the different rows there may be you know different length of the string and we may need to extend the different length of substring so we are moving towards that uh, complicated step as well gradually but you know let us uh, use another simple technique to extract the left middle and right prod from the you know from a string and that is called flash fill so let us move to our second sheet where we have the same uh, data and we need to use this separate technique this time and this time it is going to be flash fill so all i need to do is you know mention the characters that i want from the left so let us say i want the first five characters again so i'll mention that looking at here 42736 42736 and now press enter and now go back to the cell and go to data tab and in this data tab now please click on flash fill and now you can see that you know if you look at this record here the number is different and that is exactly the first five characters from the cell and then the number is different again and that is you know the first five characters from the cell and if i go towards the end in the last row you can see that you know we have again a different number and that is coming from the first five characters from this particular cell here so flash fill again is a very powerful and simple way of extracting the data let us do the same for the middle part as well so now this time i want to start from character number seven and that is s then followed by o a six one two eight five so I'll mention that and I'll go to the cell again and I'll press on flash fill and now you can see you know if I look at this cell here Excel has correctly extracted the central part that's starting from is that the part is starting from a character number seven that is SO61301 and then again SO61301 and if I can scroll down for you at any random record you can see different records here so if I go to the end, you can see in the last record we have S048726. So Excel has correctly extracted the middle part using the flash fill. And if I move start from the right, I will simply type 5 to 9. That are the last three characters here. And now I'll press flash fill again. And you can see the last three characters have been extracted uh, from all these records. So this is another very simple yet powerful way to extract a substring of data from the data string all right so now that we have discussed flash fill let us consider a very common use case of that and that is basically extracting the email address the ex extracting the first name or the domain name of the email from the email address so you can see that we have different email addresses and most of them are different in the length because people have different names and then some people are only using the first name some are using first and the last and then there are special characters i um, mean there are numerics and then the email domain like gmail hotmail that is also of different length so using the left right or middle function is quite difficult here but flash fill will do the job very easily so all i really need to do is that i need to go to my first record and mention the first name that is the first part before the add the rate sign so i have to write a a r o n g r i double f i n i'll write the name and i'll go to flash fill click here and you can see that excel has extracted the name part from the email address just with a click of a button so email address the name has been extracted from all these records similarly if you have to extract the domain name like gmail.com uh, just mention that and you know click on flash fill and once you do that you know your domain name will also be extracted very easily so that is another very good use case of a flash fill so these are the two basic techniques and now let us move to another technique that is called text to columns or delimit option so if you look at data we have three different fields that have been all compiled together into one column so we have region country and continent but somehow these all have been compiled to compile together into one cell so we have to you know uh, separate them but 
we have we have to use different options so of course flash kill fill definitely will work here um, but you know uh, for the sake of learning another technique because flash fill will not always work on all different type of data we can use another very good option and that is called text to columns or delimit so all we need to do is to select the cell and now click on text to columns now here you have to choose between two options you can choose delimited or fixed width i'm going to show you both of them both are used in different scenario for this scenario we have to use delimited and i'll click on next and now excel is asking you that on which basis you want to split this data do you want to split on the basis of comma semicolon a space or something else so i'll say i want to split on the basis of something else and something that I could notice in my data, something that was separating these three fields was a hyphen. So I'll insert a hyphen. And once you do that, you can quickly see that, you know, Excel has quickly uh, separated this one column into three. So just take a look here. And then once you are satisfied, just click on next and then click on finish. And you can see your data has now been separated into three columns one for the region and then country and then uh, the the continent so if i can scroll down you can see i can't really see any mistake in any of these cells so that is again a very good option of using text to columns that is delimit option perfect so let us talk about another technique now and that is text to columns fixed width so in this case you know you can see here uh, there is no delimiter in between the data that I can find. So we have multiple records that have been compiled together into one column, into one cell each time. But this time I can't notice any hyphen or comma or a semicolon or a space on the basis of which I could delimit them, I could split them. Uh, but don't worry, we have another option and that is called text to column fixed with option. I'll again go to this text to column option here and I'll click on fixed width this time and I'll click on next. And now this time Excel is giving you option to choose, uh, you know, to draw the line between the data at any point that you like. So for example, if I have to take the first five digit, I'll come here and click and you will notice that Excel has drawn a line. If you mistakenly draw a line wrong, you can double click on the line again and it will disappear. And then next I have to pick up the seven characters. So I'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll draw a line again. And then I have to take the three characters. I'll take this one and I'll draw the line again. And then once you are satisfied, you can scroll down and see the data. And once you are satisfied, you will sim simply click on next and then finish. And you can see that you know your data has been split into different columns and if I can just scroll down for you this is working perfectly all right so we have nicely split our data into different columns but again you know there was one limitation and that limitation that you may have noticed that uh, in this particular case for from all these different cells we only wanted the first five characters and then we only wanted the next seven and then only three and then this character that is of different length in quite a few cells uh, luckily it was towards the end so the length was not a problem for us but uh, in my practical life i have seen that text to column options both delimit and fix width one of them is always useful when we extract data from different software one of them always work for us so this technique is again practically a very good technique so these are some of the basic techniques that we could use uh, to extract the substring from a string of data but now we have you know some more dynamic and advanced techniques and let us talk about them as well so first of all let us move to our next sheet and on this sheet you can see that the data that we have is simply the name of different people and all we have to do is to separate the first name and the last name of course you can use the flash fill or you can also use the delimation with the space in between them and both of them will do the job for you but that is not always going to be the case so we have to learn an advanced technique that technique is basically about using 
the dynamic number of count of characters in the left and the right and the center formula so let us start with the left function so i want to tell my excel i want to you know uh, ask my excel to extract a specific number of characters from the left which bring in all the first name characters so in this uh, first line in first case it is going to be aaron and then second time it is going to be alexander and then alexia so you know in all of these three names the length is different so i cannot tell excel to bring in five or seven or nine or whatever but what i need to tell excel is that the characters should always be you know uh, in the number that is before the space so the first thing that we need to do that we can do is to find the character number for the space so if i use the find function let me show you actually so if i use the find function so what find function will do is the first thing it is asking me is that you know find text what it should be finding so i'll use the inverted commas to define the space and then the second argument they are asking me is you know within text that from which text do you want to uh, find this so i'll refer it to cell a2 i'll close the bracket and press enter and now what you are seeing right now here is that this find function is telling you that the space exists at character number six so if i just double click here this will be replicated for all the cells so for example in the second name alexander the space exists at character number 10. so what i will say uh, excel is that please extract all the characters that are before the 6 or before the 10 in this case so i'll use the left function again and i'll say left and then i'll tell the you know the the cell that contains the text that is my name so i'll sell, tell the cell a2 and now in the number of characters rather than mentioning any number rather than hard coding any number i'll refer it to cell b2 which contains the dynamic number that is six in this case but remember the Aaron word consists of five letters not the six the sixth letter was for a space so i'll do minus one to make sure that we are extracting first five characters only close the bracket and press enter and now you can see we have the first name that is aaron now double click here and you can see we have alexander lexia andrew so all the first names have been extracted correctly no matter how much lengthy they are so this is again a very user-friendly option available in excel for extracting a substring now we will be using a very similar technique to calculate you know to find out the last name as well but this time it is going to be a little lengthy because you know we had a function that could use that could actually calculate the character number from the left that was the find function but there is no function that could count the same character number from the right as well so rather we are going to use another small technique and that technique is going to be first we will calculate the length of all the characters i mean the length of the complete string using the len function so len function basically calculates you know uh, calculates the length of the string so i'll mention len and refer it to the cell that contains the name and close the bracket and press enter and now you can see excel is telling me this len function is telling me that first name this first the cell the data in the cell contains 13 characters and you can count that as well and if i double click you can see that we now have the count for all the characters using this len function now what i can do is that i can use this total length and i can deduct the length from the left to calculate you know the the string length from the right so let me show it to you to you equals length function minus the find function and if i do that my first cell is telling me that after a space there are seven characters so if you can please count that one two three four five six seven so after a space there were seven characters we could find that now using the len function and then deducting the find uh, function that we already have used so i'll double click and now you can see we have you know uh, the length of the string from the right for all the different names and now i'm going to use the right function i'll say right 
and for the text I'll mention the name again I'll refer the cell and for the number of characters I'll simply refer it to this function that is len minus find minus find and close the bracket press enter and now you can see we have the second name for this name that is Aaron Griffin I'll double click and you can see we have the second name for all the different records let me go straight to the end and you can see we have the 17,000 records and for all of them we have the first name and the last name beautifully separated using this small technique of adding find function and you know len function along with the left and right